Hello everyone and welcome to a cast by myself, Prophet. Today we are going to be looking at a ZVT TVZ, just for you guys. Down here spawning in the bottom right of Antigua Shipyard, we have the Red Zerg player, Home. And up here spawning in the top left of Antigua Shipyard, we have none other than our Terran player, Eye Up. Now I went ahead and got the ranks on SC2 ranks for you guys, and uh, first off I found out that both players are actually playing on the Europe server. Home down here is a rank 50 diamond player, so about middle of the road, doing pretty well. Sounds pretty good, you know? And our Terran player up here, I, I up, is a rank 50 masters. So home is looking to advance into the Masters League shortly, hopefully. That's what he's hoping. We have the Automaton 2000 chilling there on the creep, seeing what's going on. Nothing much really exciting going to happen here in the first uh, little bit of this game. Um, we are on a ladder map because there are these gold minerals here at these center bases. And as I said before, these players both are playing on the European server, so I actually, when looking at the replay files, they were both, it's actually uh, in French, so that's kind of fun. Uh, I am studying my French, I am studying French myself, so that's it's quite intriguing to me. We do have the barracks boat halfway complete, and we do have gas coming down now as well. We also have a 15 hatchery, quite standard, nothing extravagant going on there at all. Positioning overlords and ways to stop for bunker rushes as they happen occasionally We do have this SCV over here gonna scout this next base and he will be second to scout The spawning pool should be going down here on 17 supply, which is quite greedy, but that's all right You can do it on some maps and there we go 17 spawning pool So we have the hatchery almost about halfway complete now Orbital command coming in and as well we have a tech lab so we could see some sort of marauder push here Which would be kind of interesting for sure it could do a little bit of damage if there are no lings out The automaton 2000 is getting quite close to the hatchery should watch out doesn't want any acid spewing or anything like that That would be quite bad. No it is we do actually have a reaper expand Now if you were to ask mr. Bitter about reaper expands he would probably say that he's a fan of them Maybe. Just maybe. He likes them. And here we go. Let's see what we see. And there we go. The bunker is spotted. How many drones will we pull? A lot. We are pulling eight drones, actually, to deal with this one bunker, uh, which might get completed, but no, this, uh, this is poor SCV will probably die, or at least have to cancel. Uh, there are five, five drones at a time hitting right now. Maybe, oh no, actually there's six, and there's the cancel. But these drones are happily already here at the expansion. Oh, we do have um, a second bear bunker coming down right now. And that Reaper is on its way. Could get a few kills here with no links on the way yet. But there are two queens, so maybe not. If these bunkers get up, that could be bad with this Reaper coming in. Spine crawler going up now as we speak. And we do have the command center and another barracks about to come down. And the queen's getting in on the action now. Gonna have to cancel this one. No, doesn't even get the cancel off. And will the reaper get in this bunker? That's the next question. Yes, the reaper does get in. Now will we see a mass repair on the bunker? That's the best question here. How many drone kills will go down? How many kills will get taken? How many lives will be stolen from the Zerg race? This fine evening, I guess you would call it. And here we go now. The spine crawlers up. This will be taken away. Uh, second, first Reaper does go down. Two SCVs as well. And now the second Reaper is running scared. We do have the Overlord chilling off here on the side. Wrong camera. Sees two barracks, but not the command center. We also have the factory coming down. And actually, let's check to see how many workers were killed there. And that's the wrong tab. And here we go. There were only four workers killed, uh, whereas there were the two of home. Uh, I ups that were killed so I'd say it's a fairly decent trade considering there's no expo up yet for I up it's uh, nearly complete but then still has to be floated in we do have eight drones on the way going to be up to 26 to 22 it will skyrocket there I feel maybe I'm completely wrong yes I am I'll go up to about 30 or so over 22 but you do have those mules to worry about and as you can see uh, I'm getting completely destroyed by the 
learning. But that's all right. We're gonna continue on here. We do have Stim about halfway done. Uh, not very many units on the field. One Marauder, one Marine, another Marine coming. Sorry about the on there, everybody. We do have a uh, two barracks with reactors, one with Tech Lab. Oh, we did cancel an add-on there, which I believe was the reactor add-on. Probably gonna add on the starboard, and then we'll see the reactor. I think. Yeah. I would assume so. We have this orbital command landing down here. Expect lots of muling to happen here, or just the one making me look like a fool, but that's completely alright. Our second and third gas is just coming down now, and as well, Banley Ness is about halfway complete. Link speed just halfway complete, too. Will he keep up on the larva injects is the best question. And there we go, there's the larva inject. Good job on that. Needs to get a little bit more on top of it, but that's alright. This Reaper's just chilling out here in the center, guarding that watchtower, because that's all it can do. We do have a depot wall going down here, which is quite good. I do like the depot wall uh, a lot, actually. And there we go. There's the switch of the uh, factory and the starport. We're getting at some double medevacs here. Zerg player home taking a third base now, as you can see up here. And we do have some links moving out. The Terran player does see it if he's paying attention. And there we go. The Reaper is now dead. Speedlings are on the map. Gonna go in for some scouting. What will they see, though? They will see a lot of Marines. And a Marauder. And some deeper walls. We are spreading creep, which I do like. It's not exactly TLO creep spread, but that's alright. It's kind of hard to be that bearded and have that much creep spread at the same time. The lair is finishing up. Finished, rather. We do have the second Evo chamber coming down. And Baneling speed as well, making some Banelings. Where are they? There they are. There are already some made, and there are some on the way as well. So, eight in total. Uh, and actually, rallying all the way up to the center. This Marauder will die, uh, undoubtedly. And maybe not. Okay. Marines and Medivacs. Is that exactly 16? No, that is more, but that's quite alright. Here we go. The Zerg player is in the middle of the map. The Terran player is going to go for a drop here. This could do innumerable amounts of damage, actually. The Zerg player is completely out of position with all of his units. Uh, these reinforcing units now may be able to help slightly, but here we go. Here's the drop. How many drones will die? All those rallies just got reset. All the drones are going down. These Marines do stim, of course, and chase after them. Spine crawler there, waiting to greet. The Marines just want to take out as many drones and the Queen as possible. These Banelings are going to come in now. Are they going to get anything? No, the Marines just pick up and say, hey, let's get out of here, man. It's fine with us. Let's check the drone kills here. 25 drones have died from that one attack. That's pretty good. 21, actually. There were the earlier deaths, but that's all right. Doing some uh, sick drop micro there. May drop one Marine at a time under these Banelings. Yes, they will. Trying to kill off some of those Banelings for cheap. Always a good thing. Back here at the Terran player base, we do have the third base coming up. And we do have a counterattack coming in now. Are the Deeples lifted? Yes, they are. So these Zerglings will not be able to get in so easily. Siege tank, j siege mode just finished up. Expecting to see this tank siege up any time here. We do have this poor SCV. Uh, all the depots are being lowered, but no, there we go. Immediately putting them back up, realizing what has happened. He's going to go probably expand up here somewhere, I would assume, considering all those drones are now running. Because, yes, there is this drop in the main base. That was my fault. And here we go. There was a Baneling bust. All these Marines are, in fact, dying. And home is just going to call the GG here. Realizes that he may have lost... And we do have some banter here, all these drones up here, the income tab, not looking the best, as you can clearly see. Um, again, having some not-so-friendly banter, but that's alright. So the siege tank has 8 kills, 
And, um, yeah, as, as I said, there was some, some not-so-friendly banter here. So, this is, uh, one of the few games that I will be casting from iUp. I do have a replay pack from him, courtesy of Reddit slash cast it. Uh, you guys should go there and and post some post some games. Uh, I'm Profit. I'll be on there. I do have a thread in Reddit cast it. If you do want to post some of your games, I might get to them. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's right over here to do. That'd be fantastic. But enough with plugging myself. Everybody have a great, fantastic day. Try not to have fun overdose. That would be bad. Thanks. Just thanks, guys. Have a great day.